Hello and welcome to Will Watches. This is a silent voice. So last week we did your name. This week it's a silent voice. I love both of these movies. I know people like to compare them a lot, but they're both great in my mind. It's like if your name is like a 10 and silent voice is like a nine, they're both great. This gets like a bit more of a, a visceral, emotional reaction from me. Also, I'm going to be watching the dub for this. I've already seen the sub before, so I thought it would be interesting to do the dub and see how I feel about it. I also know that Nishimiya is being played by an actual deaf girl in this, which is really cool. So it's cool to see that inclusion there. Before we get into this, be sure to check out the Patreon. Over there, you can find one week early access, so you can watch next week's video right now, which is American Psycho. And then you can get full length timer based reactions. So if there's anything I cut out here that you wanted to see a reaction to, you can see. And then there's also polls so you can vote for upcoming shows and movies. So yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's just jump into it. Oh yeah, the shape of voice. Fun to see how the dub handle things, like translations, because they call it the shape of voice or a silent voice, you know? Thank you so much for everything, sir. 30,000 sound. Oh yeah. Close out the account. I forgot about how it starts like this. He was just gonna jump. It is a beautiful film as well. Look at that. <laughs> Imagine it's funny that they throw in a Western song here. I love the little um, tag coming out of his shirt. I don't know, it's just a great bit of detail that just shows off, like, a great bit of characterization. <laughs> I used to do that all the time, when you make it like a finger gun, yeah. <laughs> Is that um, the sister's boyfriend? Because we see later that she has the baby that's mixed. I never thought we actually saw the dad, if that was him. <laughs> We have a new student that'll be joining our class today. I heard it's a girl. So what? Like I care? I heard that um, her hair color wasn't originally supposed to be pink. It was like supposed to be brown in the manga. And then they stylized it pink for some bits, but then they made it pink in the movie as well. I think it fits her though. There's some cool cinematography showing them in the corners, kind of isolated. Hearing them all whispering is kind of cool. <laughs> Their name is Show? Huh? Oh, just like Show ya. Hey, we have another Show now. Oh, is the same Show's nickname? <laughs> yeah, because it's Shoko and Show ya. The exercises are on page 20 to 25 and on page 32. Give me your notebook, okay? With the teacher just, you know, speaking to the class like that, it must be quite hard to learn for her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start singing till I start. I'm Why are sorry. you reading so slow? You sound like you're five. <laughs> Fine. Enough of that. Who's next? The teacher isn't a good teacher Shut at up. all, really, is he? It's annoying that the subtitles don't match up with the dub. I imagine it's the subtitles for the translation, not the subtitles for the dub. For that. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> Sit down, show ya. <laughs> and Nishimi is like completely oblivious to that, probably. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, I can imagine kids, you know, it's just a lot of hassle for them when you're a kid. You just want to talk, you not have to write every single thing down. I mean, kids would get tired of the gimmick of that quite quickly. I don't know, there is this feeling with Shoko of, um, it's like she is never quite fully in the know. Pretty old, pretty fast. Yeah, see, so the kids are getting sick of the notebook. She always seems kind of oblivious, and it's hard to. Or her, it's hard for her to like fully understand everything that's happening. And I can kind of relate to that for when when I was a kid. I don't know when I was in school. It felt like I was never fully in the know for what all the drama was with people and you know i don't know it's just never fully in the know so i kind of relate to that 
using your hands to talk instead of your voice. It'd be like I'd be oblivious to two of my friends had had an argument and worked weren't talking to each other, and I had no idea. I just never clocked onto it <laughs> because no one ever told me. Why can't we just write in her notebook? It would be easier for Shogo if everyone just learned a little sign language. Yeah. Easy, just quicker for everyone. I'll do it. I can learn how to sign. She was like the only one who was actually like truly nice to her. Gross. Did she get dressed in the dark? So based on the author's previous by looking at the results of the experience. And then left, yeah, because the others were bullying her. And then Shoko's left without any friends. Check out my masterpiece. Hmm. Who would write such a thing? Some people. <laughs> and then he backtracks on it completely. And she doesn't even no realize she thinks he's helping out. Yeah. She thinks they're all her friends, but they don't feel the same way back. Oh, yeah, because she, she got some implants. Actually here. <sighs> is that earwax? That is so gross. Like, he's only a kid, but he was a little shit. <laughs> Stealing hearing aids. <gasps> oh no, she's bleeding. You went too far, man. Great. Now what? And she still tries to be the friend even after all of that. You're not sorry, you're just pathetic. What does she have to even apologize for? We'll see you tomorrow, show ya. And then they turn their back on him. Eight of Shoko's hearing aids have been broken or gone missing. Like, oh yeah, we all know that it's you. The all the blame shifted on him, even though he didn't do all of it. He makes fun of her. They all make fun of her, but he does most of like the physical bullying, I guess. It's weird because usually when someone is like a bully as a kid, it's because there's something going on at home. But we never really see that. It's just like he has a single mother, but we never really see anything else. That's like causing it, I guess. And she just plays the victim. Like that. How could you? Sorry for any trouble he caused. I just got off the phone with the school. We're going over to Shoko's right now. Oh yeah, offering her money for all of the broken hearing aids. You can see how tired the mum is just in her eyes. Let's go home. <laughs> she got blood on her? What was that about? I don't remember that at all. What? Didn't Shoko's mum hit his mum? Or something like that? She was bleeding from her ear as well. Okay, I don't remember that. I remember later on, Shoko's mum goes, he's like about to hit Shoya. So maybe she is quite violent. And she was cleaning it up just like in return for what he did, what she thought he did to her. You freak. Because he's now on the receiving end. Don't try to act all innocent. If you want to say something, then spit it out. Ah! What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I can't believe you spit me. He said do something, and she did. <laughs> yeah, it must be really frustrating, not being able to express yourself or to understand what other people are saying. I forgot how good this music is actually. Now that I'm hearing it again. Oh yeah, because he was tying up all the loose ends, but I guess this was a loose end that he doesn't feel that was, like, tied up properly. And she didn't even recognise him. Uh, hello. Do you remember me? It must be difficult for her. Look how shy she is, yeah. She can't even speak to him. So, I... Well, she can't understand you. <laughs> you left this behind? Yeah, he knows a little bit of sign. From a class. I wonder how accurate the sign language is. Because I know some places have different types of sign language as well. There's like American Sign Language, British Sign Language. So it's really different across countries. And you, Shoko, uh, can we be friends? And it's the exact same she was asking before. <laughs> That's a cool way of kind of visualizing it, I guess. Good morning, Maria. Shosha's awake! <laughs> Maria's so cute. 
Yeah, and he's gone past the day that he was planning. I found this! Oh. <laughs> You've been working so hard at your job. Why would you want to kill yourself? <laughs> she knows all about it. We're going through a lot of crazy stuff like Do not even try to deny it! I can't believe it. It's so morbid. Bitter, I'm torching this! That her ears what damaged. I wonder if Shoko's mum ripped her earring out. Yeah, okay. I swear I won't do it. Please believe me. All this in front of her as well, the little kid. Then I won't burn this. <laughs> 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 mm, <smoky>. <laughs> He's so bad. A girl had to switch schools. And then no one ever became friends with him. I pushed everyone away. Yeah, he just cut himself off from the rest of the world. It's great at showing the feeling of like isolation. And you know, all of the X's, all of the X's were actually done in post. So they actually drew all of the faces and then afterwards went in and put the X's over the top. Once the movie was already finished, really. Oh, sorry, I forgot. That's okay. You can't even look her in the eyes, you know? Sorry. No problem. Didn't you hear about him? Everyone knows. Hey, check it out. He's looking at us again. Yeah, that's what he thinks they're all thinking. <laughs> and he can't even just like enjoy little things like that. Everyone looking at that blimp. Look how far away he is. That was great. Complete the opposite side of the frame. I'll earn it back. <laughs> I know you will. How much money was it actually? I didn't catch how much it was, and I don't know the tr conversion from yen to pounds. Do you want to borrow mine? Oh, You're a godsend. Of course, he stole it. Yeah, <laughs> but he actually did something good. Is Shoko Nishimiya here? She's not here. I mean, are you actually a friend of hers? So I know that's her little sister and not her brother. But I feel like in the dub you can tell a bit more because you can kind of tell that that's a girl's voice. But you know, in animation, sometimes they do get girls, they get women to do kids' voice, kids' boy voices because it's like a bit more higher pitched, a bit more realistic for young boys. Found him! Hey, you! I found your bike! <sighs> there is his best friend. Is something wrong? What? Show ya! <laughs> Good morning! Uh, it's clear that Shoya doesn't, isn't quite, he doesn't feel like he's ready to have a friend yet, does he? Hang out with me after school. But he keeps pushing for it and... Shoya, over here! Oh, slowly open up. <laughs> Who's Yasho? It's your nickname. Shows that we're close. Is there some sort of friendship process you go through? <laughs> Yasho. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Pretending to smoke. Huh. Now they've got a secret handshake. And I is friends. If you're just here to make yourself feel better, you might. Mm, yeah. Oh, oh. Listen, boy. <laughs> I like how he has sh show you's back. Oh, you Seriously, back. man, don't worry about it. But now, now that Shoko's seen him. Sorry, buddy. You're on your own. <laughs> man, Yasho sure does talk with his hands a lot. It's hard. <laughs> Tell me what they're saying! Who was that loser you were with? <laughs> I have never wasn't sure if it was okay to come see you. A Nikon D3300. So that's the camera I have for <laughs> you. Yeah, it's the same one. <laughs> it's just, she, no hesitation, she's straight in. Talk to me, boy! Ah, he went into the river! Why? The underwater animation is great. What was in the notebook that she was so desperate to see? <laughs> and she posted it to Twitter. Was it a fake account? It's like a fake show your account? Because it had his profile picture, like his face. Report to the faculty office immediately. Suspended for jumping the river. From the Suimanbashi Bridge. Even though I know it's prohibited. Well, I'm not supposed to leave the house while I'm still... 
still suspended. Oh, come on, it'll, it'll, How are you su You can't leave the house while you're suspended? What? Or oh, was that the sister or the mum? We never actually see the sister. He could have just explained he was jumping in the river to help his friend who fell in and he would have got off, you know? You okay? Mm. You're gonna catch a cold like this. Where are your shoes? Is she homeless or ran away? It doesn't make sense for her to be homeless. I'm the one who posted the photo. You're not angry? Why should I be? I think she kind of sees how good of a person he actually is now. Nishimiya was mad at her for posting the photo, I guess, and that's why she ran off. Is that what it was? Just who do you think you are? I see through your act. Yeah, she thinks it's all an act. I'm sorry I didn't tell you this earlier, but uh, <laughs> I'm actually Shoko's. Oh, younger sister! <laughs> You're Shoko's ma. Yeah, the mom is very violent. She always looks tired. She's probably been for a lot. That's Shoko's little sister. <laughs> <laughs> Miyoko from elementary school. She was the only one who's ever properly actually nice to her. Do you know how to get in touch with Miyoko Sahara? I think Mel goes to the same school as her. They're not even sitting on the same seat. <laughs> Oh, okay. I guess going opposite so they can talk to each other. It's me! Miyoko! From school! Huh? It's been a long time, hasn't it, huh? And she learnt sign as well. I've been learning sign. Special offer! I wonder if she realised it was him. It's like slowly he's rebuilding all of the relationships that he had at the school. Something about her hearing is getting even worse, I guess. Isn't it the deaf girl? Yeah. Still all alone. Poor thing. Yeah, she's still. I'm sorry about everything that happened when we were kids, but it's not like it was that big of a deal. It was a big deal to her, but it's almost affected him his whole life, really. You never realize things like that, you know? There's, you know, there's always certain things that you remember. And then you mention it to a fr like if there's something embarrassing and you remember it and you mention it to a friend and they're like I, they don't remember that at all because it didn't affect them you know you. stop that's weird there's only one of them yeah she's still acting like she did as a kid you want to know what we were talking about nothing don't worry about it look I got yeah constantly being left in the dark I like how see you is kind of like a peace sign. It's like <laughs> uh, yeah. Time to get up. I'm up. And she just sleeps in the cupboard like that. Is it an actual bed? It's hard to tell. Today it's in a ponytail. Are you? Uh... So you can see the implant, I guess. I guess it's that makes it easier for other people. Look at her her face went a bit red there. Where are you going, Shoya? What was that? Where am I going? That was quite good. That where you're going. But she already has some bread. I bet she wants the more so she can eat it. Whoa, Whoa, I can't believe you made you do Wait, that just, for her. Can you sign it? That was Boy? That was really good. I understood everything of that. What are these things? Oh yeah, she was buying them before. Thank you so much. <laughs> he doesn't appreciate. He doesn't even know what they are. He doesn't appreciate it. I love them. Uh, I love them. This is it was a very hard thing to translate because it's like the moon and you sound similar in Japanese, and he was like, "You love the moon," but <laughs> it's even worse in the dub, probably. This is very hard to translate. Where are you going? Re rejections are difficult, but it wasn't even really a rejection. He just didn't understand. That might be even harder. <laughs> I don't know. The other day, Satoshi told me he thought you'd be a pretty cool guy to hang out with. Uh, huh? Uh, and there's another friend. Who are you? And tell us the nature of your business. <laughs> 
Well, if you really want to know how she feels about you, then I suggest you just ask her out. If she says no, <laughs> you'll have your answer. I guess that you're right. So they both like each other, but they never wants to ask each other out. Who's that over there? Why is she acting so chummy with you? Oh, yeah. Why is she here? I was way too scared to ride this. I was going to wait until after the ride to decide if it's scary or not. Yeah. Wait till after. <laughs> it's like she's talking to him without asking her out almost. You only know if something's truly going to be scary or work well until after you've actually done it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> your legs are shaking. <laughs> Who said you could touch huh? him? Huh? Now he's kind of jealous of the friendship. My friend, I got my eye on you. You better watch hey, it. Is that your real hair? Oh, is this? Master Satoshi, they're catching we up. We can do this, Yasho. Come on. Pedal and he's on. realizing that he's got friends. Is it okay? Am I allowed to have this much fun? This feels so familiar. Ow. He's finally giving himself some time with <laughs> friends. Like we're all friends. <laughs> that bit always gets me. I know it's the end that everyone's... Everyone loses it, but that bit's even worse for me, I think. You need to learn how to mind your own business. Oh yeah, it's him. What about that other guy who had the mullet? <laughs> and... The ex has just come right back. You and I are more alike than you think, you know. No, we're not. Yes, we are. He's, he's actually trying to change. Well, if Shoko hadn't shown up, we would all still be friends and be happy. She blames everything on Shoko when it was her bullying Shoko and him bullying Shoko. That was the problem. Do you hate me? Probably. <laughs> if you guys are going, can you take my camera? That was such a good plan, the Putting the camera on her. Or does she realize that it was recording the whole thing? Got a top secret video for you. I hate you. Uh. Mm. And instead of getting a clue like a normal person, you just kept giving me that stupid notebook of yours. You just kept coming around with your stupid book. <laughs> this was years ago. Just get over it. Trying to the grown ups. You got Shoya in trouble. I'm it's not her fault at all. It's looking for another apology for me. I mean, I still hate you a lot. I don't hate you. I, I hate you myself. And she blames herself for everything. Say! And you haven't changed a bit. You still. She doesn't change a bit because she doesn't need to change. Is there really a lot of bad blood between her and Shoko? Miki said something serious went down at your old school. Oh yeah, he's kind of out of the loop of everything, wasn't he? You'd have to be a major douchebag. <laughs> well, he's a deaf kid. You think I'm spreading rumors about what happened in elementary Shh, school? You but you're still the same awful person you were in elementary okay, school. Okay. <laughs> she just loves playing the victim, doesn't she? He was the one who used to bully her. And now she actually is spreading it. But you used to make fun of her too, Mickey. I never ever said anything mm. about her behind Satoshi said I should go ahead and forgive you since you've been trying to make things right with Shoko. It's not entirely him. This is wrong on so many levels. You can't blame everything that happened on Shoya. We were all Yeah. At least she has the self awareness for it. If Shoko or did anything to bully her the way the rest of you guys did. The way the rest of you did. With you. So she, <laughs> she kind of admits that she did. You and I are completely different. You just sat back and laughed along with everyone else. Did not? Yeah. Just stop. It's all kind of irrelevant. You just try and make amends now instead of shifting the blame from one another to one another. You notice there's always like this vignette around where the colors shift to like blue and red. Like it's almost like a free 3D effect. You notice around the edges. I thought we were friends. He's just pushing everyone away again. Do you want to go somewhere special? 
Why would she want to go anywhere if she just you just split up the whole friend group? Mom chews me out on a daily basis, and I haven't gone to school in like weeks. Yeah, it seems like there's something going on with the mum. She's kind of abusive. The stress of having the grandma with them probably doesn't help. <laughs> and he's alone again now. Yeah, look at that right at the edge on the left of the screen. It's like super blurred. Oh yeah, the grandma. And just stay in his own business. Duh. Uh, but we're on summer break right now. So it's the only clothes she had for a funeral or something. So put on a uniform. Yeah, at such a young age, it's hard to process all of the emotions. See, my grandma passed away when I was 13, but I still feel like I was kind of too young to even register what was happening. This is cool. Like a exhibition. Or is it just... I wonder if these are based off real places. Let's hang out tomorrow too. Hanging out so much kind of distracts you. It distracts you from what happened with the grandma. That's a gorgeous shot. Hey Shoko! Cool! I see Yuzuru's gonna tag along with us. Let's check out a movie! <laughs> He's like overcompensating. Greetings, classmates. I gotta say, this has been the best summer break ever. That looks That's amazing. amazing. Hmm? Why is he here? You lucked out. Looks like mom isn't gonna kill you. <laughs> Submitted some of your photography to the local contest, Yuzuru. What? But I'm no good. I'm just messing around. Yeah. That's not true. But if you, she's always got it on her, so you'd slowly improve, even if you were just taking them for fun. Well, perfect time to go buy snacks. Wanna come, mom? <laughs> Leaving them alone. <laughs> She never says see you later back. She just says, is that just bye or something? Because that is see you later, but that implies coming back. Oh, so that's where she is. Hey, uh, yeah. What, what is she doing? Hey, Don't bother with your shoes, just go. <laughs> the first time you see it, it kind of blindsides you. It's even more stressful. <laughs> it's like almost like they're almost both gonna go. Please, God, give me one more ounce of strength. Please. Starting tomorrow, I'll look everyone in the eye. I'll listen when people speak to me. I'll be better. The scar I gave her all those years ago. And then... Even though I know what happens, I'm still getting chills. It's warm. What on earth are you doing? Oh, get up. I'm sure showing to save my stupid sister. It's nice to see Shoko's mum apologizing for once. Please don't. Come on, both of you, please get up. They will take on so much responsibility and guilt from each other. Decided to kill yourself, and now all you can say is "I'm sorry." Is that it? Not <sighs> it Who do you think you are, huh? Hell are you? Okay, that was the one slap. That was a good slap. <laughs> she deserved that one. The <laughs> one. What is wrong with the both of you? There's nothing for her to apologize for. It's all my fault! <laughs> Didn't know what else to do. So she already knew that she was saying things like that? <laughs> the 
No. For the first time, I know what it feels like to have a true friend. <laughs> so I know he'll wake up. He just has to. She hasn't destroyed anything. Everyone in this movie just takes the blame for everything. I'm the same coward I've always been. You can change. Start now. Yeah. If you want to change, it's never too late. Just like Shoyu did with the sister. <gasps> oh, I like the music. Oh, I love a spinning camera shot. <laughs> no, Shoko. When I first watched this, I thought maybe he would have lost his hearing when he fell in the river as well. I'm so sorry. The actor's going to do a good job. He sounds very like out of breath. Yo. <laughs> He's actually there. I never apologized for all the stuff I did to you when we were kids. My mom said you came to the hospital. I find it hard to get a grasp on her. I just can't bring myself to like Shoko. Welcome back. And the X falls off. No, no, it looks much cuter like this. Oh, you're home, Shoya. Oh, hi, Shoya. <laughs> They're trying to get along a bit. Wait a minute. I'm really sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm heading out to pick up Maria now. So we did actually see him, but we never see the sister, it's weird. Since you're alive again, will you please help teach me how to- Yeah, because she's been out of school for a long time. Uh, he's moving forward, going from left to the right of frame. That's cool. Isn't that Shoya? Who is that? Wait, the one who was in the hospital, right? The guy who jumped? Some people don't even know who he is, yeah. It's because I have trouble. Looking people in the eye. Show us back at school. Are you okay now? Good morning, Nagatsuka. Good to see you. You got even look his friend in the eye. It's okay. <laughs> see, grown a mustache for that drawn on. I wasn't shaving it till you woke up. What's going on? We heard Nagatsuka howling. It's him looking down again. There's supposed to be a thousand of them, but we couldn't finish it fast enough. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my lunch. Why do you always have to be like that now? She's always just like putting on a front. Shoya, listen, I'm really. And she can't look at him either. Moron. <laughs> and she she did it without even realizing. Moron. <laughs> She's actually starting to learn some. Omg, this is so good. She's finally letting everyone in. The way the music just swells half. <laughs> it still, hurts. still don't see the sister's face. You just see everyone. <laughs> hey, so that was a silent voice. Um, as you can see. That was, this was a lot more kind of emotionally visceral for me. Um, it just hits me a bit more. Um, I think it's just a bit more relatable, especially the bit where he's at the theme park and he just has this realization that he has all of these friends and that he's ha being happy and having a good time. When I was at uni in the first year, I found it quite hard to make friends and it was you know i had some but it was only kind of like situational ones where we were in uni like in the same area it wasn't like we never hung out kind of outside and it was only during second year it was at the beach with my friends and we were just sitting and the sun was just hitting my face and i just had the exact same realization that shoyo had where it was like, 
yeah, I do have proper friends and I'm like having fun. So there's like a lot of things in here that are relatable for me and probably relatable for a lot of people, especially if you're like more introverted or have a lot of like social anxiety and things like that. I do find some of the movie quite frustrating though, how everyone always, they're all kind of taking the blame for everything for themselves, you know what I mean? So this was the dub and I thought it was quite good. It was a bit annoying because I had the subtitles on and the subtitles, they were kind of different from what they were saying. I imagine the subtitles were a direct translation and then the dub, they have to adapt it a bit better to fit the mouth movements and everything. So it was a bit annoying that they weren't synced up. But I thought the dub did a pretty good job. Um, Nisha Mia's voice actress, who is deaf from what I've heard, was really good. Um, you know, I think it adds kind of like this little level of realism to it. And then most of the other actors did a pretty good job as well. It, it was nothing awful, but I don't feel like there was anything outstanding apart from Nisha Mia's voice actress. Yeah, it's just crazy the amount how everyone just feels so responsible for everything that happened. And, you know, they were kids when it all happened, you know. we Everyone was stupid as a kid. Everyone was a bit of an asshole as a kid. It's not... You don't have to blame yourself for that, you know. And I know they are still kids. They were all just turning 18. But even so, everything that happened before was when they were, like, 12 or whatever. I just feel like... Yeah. <laughs> most people would have moved past everything by then but i do really like shoyo's kind of redemption how you know he was a bully at the start but it's because he's a kid you know and when you're a kid you're afraid of things that are different and that's why everyone bullied shoko because they see her as different and there's a lot of stuff there that as a kid you would find frustrating not being able to properly talk to her and having to write everything down, you know? That would be kind of like a fun gimmick. You'd see it as at the start. But as things progressed, that would get more and more annoying, wouldn't it? And then they all felt like they were being forced to learn sign language just for her. You can see how, like, as kids, they would become frustrated with that and then they'd take it out on her. But then it is great to see how Shoyo was trying to make amends even if at first it was only because he wanted to kill himself and it was like he wanted um to tie up the loose ends but i feel like by the end he was actually just trying to be there for good rather than for his own like gain there are certain things here that are a lot more shocking on the first time, like the very opening when he is about to jump. And then of course, when Nishimi is about to jump, I was on the edge of my seat and I thought she had at first. And then there's him like grabbing onto her, trying to pull her up. He falls in himself and that's just like a punch in the gut, but he does like actually survive. So you know how some people, they describe movies as like a nothing happens movie? I feel like this kind of falls into that category where it's more of like a character piece rather than a very plot heavy, like there are kind of big plot moments, but you know, it's very wishy-washy and things happen and characters interact, but that's great because all of the characters, they're kind of, they're interesting characters so it's fine to just see them interact. It's more of like a coming of age story, you know? Not everything needs to be so, so plot heavy and focused. I do really like the animation on this and I know it's done by a Kyoto animation who I think it was them who had had that arson attack when someone burnt down the studio. I don't know if Kyoto any, because it's Kyoani, which is the abbreviation. So I don't know if Kyoani are up and running again yet if they have a new studio i don't think so i don't know if that's just put them completely out of business or not and i know the guy who did it it was over some super petty thing like there were two characters in a show that he wanted to get together and they didn't in the show or something really stupid like that and he decided to just burn down a whole building there were people that died in that right that was just ridiculous. 
but you can see how dedicated they all are to this because all of the animation is amazing and i know i have a feeling kyoani they were one of the few studios that actually treat the animators right you know a lot of the animators they just burn out because the studio is just pumping out things and expecting them to do so much work where they're just basically living in the studio but i feel like i've heard that Ki kyoani were had a much better studio culture they had like a mainly female staff right i don't know if that's true i'll have to check up like look that up then there's the music on this as well was also really great there's just like this this whole piano tune that repeats throughout the whole thing you know it's quite subtle throughout but then right at the end when all of the x's pull off of the faces and he finally opens up the music just swells up into like this grand moment and it's so so good i feel like keeping it subtle throughout just emphasizes that last bit so so well so yeah i really love this movie um thank you for watching if you like this be sure to leave a like or a comment if you're interested subscribe so you can keep up to date for all the future uploads so yeah thanks for watching bye